Hi Sharks, welcome back. Today is another opening of the Doodle and Sketch Box that came for the month of June. I got it a few days ago, but I haven't had any time to open it because of um, things going on in my life and at home. I had a wedding on the weekend and, and all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and open it now and we will see what is in the box. Um, there you go, kiddo. Um, again, it comes like this every month. It's always wrapped up in string. And this month, I got the watercolor box. There were three choices, I believe, that you could choose from. And so this was the, the box that I chose. I'm thinking next time, I might choose something different, especially if I'm getting the same paints every time and the same brushes every time. Um, but let's see what's in this box and see what kind of things, uh, things I got. Shh, no, have your bag, honey. You're not getting this box. Oh wow, lots of goodies this time. Looks like this, and it's filled with candy bars. I've got two Twix bars, a Kit Kat mini, a Snickers, which I don't like, and of course their, their card. Lots of yellow fluff, and here we go. They always give you everything you need for your, I'm sorry, this is probably loud. Let me pause this. This, this is what he likes to do. Are you going to get it? He loves tearing up boxes and bags. So, okay, you're all done. Okay, That's he's it. finished now. <laughs> so anyway, the Doodle and Sketch boxes are not really a subscription service per se. They do not work on a month-to-month -month subscription plan. You need to go to their website every month and order the boxes you would like. Their um, ordering date starts on the 10th of the month and usually runs through the 20th of the month or until they sell out. Um, I think they're discounted after a certain date, but there's no guarantee that there will be any left after that date. So if you're, there's a box you want, you'll want to get it right away. And usually on their website, it will give you hints of what's inside the box. It doesn't tell you exactly, but sometimes you don't even know, um, you know, if it's watercolor or markers or pencils or what it is. But, um, when they do their creative boxes, which is done by the Doodle and Sketch team, they'll usually tell you watercolor, oil painting, drawing, whatever, something like that. And then you can choose from a category, and then you still don't know what you're getting, but you know what medium you're going to be getting. So this month I got a watercolor box. On the months that they do an author's box or an artist's box, they are done by artists sending in a video uh, and then every supply that they use to make that final painting or whatever it is they supply you with all those exact same supplies so that you can do the same um, project and there's always a video that goes with them so usually after the tenth of the month you can um, check for your video and then you can do a project that would go into a um, contest called a Dusker contest. It's hashtag Dusker, D-O-O-S-K-E-R, which stands for Doodle and Sketch, do ska, <laughs> whatever. And then they put an R, R on the end. So anyway, um, that tells you a little bit about the box. In the U.S., the boxes are quite expensive, I won't lie. They're usually about 65 to $70.00 and then there's a $15 shipping fee. It's about $83 by the time you're all said and done on getting your box to you. Um, but the nice thing is, is you're not stuck getting a subscription every month. If there's a few months you can't afford it, you skip it, and then you join back in on a month that you decide you want a new box. And I will tell you what, their boxes are packed full of goodies. They don't rip you off by sending you a few pencils and a couple markers and charging you $40 for a box. You really get a lot of stuff, and you always get good snacks, too. So this month, 
Again, I got Kleenex for using for my watercolor project. I got a pencil, which is, oh, it's a 2H this time. Last time I got a 2B. This is a Koh-i-Noor Heartmuth pencil, and 2H is my favorite, so I'm very excited about this pencil. Shh. I got another Rubloff Squirrel Mix brush, and I love these Squirrel Mix brushes. This one is a size 5. Diesel, no. There's no more. It's all gone. It's all gone. He knows I have a box up here. I, there's no fooling him. So I got that, and oh, this month I got a Royal Talons Van Gogh, which is student quality, I believe. Yeah, student. Rembrandt, I believe, is their artist quality. Van Gogh is student quality, but these paints are pretty good. It is a 12-pan watercolor set. I'm sorry, he's so noisy. Um, then I got... A watercolor aquarelle uh, sketch pad. It has, it's an A5, 14.8 by 21 centimeters, which is, I'm so bad at this, oops, which is a f almost a little over five and three quarter by eight and a quarter and I got something else in here in this bag more paints another eraser I get a lot of these and they're great to have and I got another paint this one is transparent oxide brown it's a Rembrandt which is an artist quality and then I got some stickers, but wait, there's more. And then I got some arches, fine grain, 300 gram, 100% cotton watercolor paper. And we'll see how much is in here. Wow, there's quite a few papers in here. Let's see. Got one, two, three, four, five sheets of watercolor paper. And these are usually about the same size. They always, they're big enough to fit in the boxes. That's why they come this size. They are seven and a half by usually 10, I think. Let's see, 11, seven and a half by 11. So they're pretty, pretty big. They don't fit any of our standard frames though. So if you used one of these and wanted to frame a project, You'd have to get a special frame for that. So anyway, this is all of the goodies that I received right here. I got student paints. I got artist quality paint, eraser, pencil, brush, uh, two different kinds of watercolor paper, lots of snacks. And it's a pretty excellent box, if you ask me. So I'm going to go ahead, and uh, I will tell you, though, these Rubloff brushes... These squirrel mix brushes are awesome. I have a size 7, I believe, and now I have the 5, and I am so happy to have it because I am really enjoying these brushes a lot. And their sizing is a little different than the sizing for a 5 round in, in other brushes. This is, um, let me see if I can find a 5. Here's a five Eclipse round in Rosemary and Company, which is pretty much the standard that I'm used to. And you can see the difference in the size. There, this one is, it's got a really nice wide belly. He's distracting me so much. Ugh. It's got a really wide belly, but they come to such a fine point and that is is just awesome for doing work so i'm going to go ahead and see if their video is up yet <clears throat> and if it is i'm going to go ahead and watch it and we will see what kind of painting project we can do so i will flip you around and we'll work on it together i want to open this up so you can see it i didn't even show you the inside of this this van gogh box some of you may already have this box and um, I do have my fair share of travel palettes, but you can never have too many, right? 
And Van Gogh, as far as student quality paints go, Van Gogh paints are pretty darn good if you ask me. I actually prefer them over Katman. Just my my feeling. Now I've never had them in pans, but oh, there's another brush in here too. It comes with the set of paints. This says to tear off. That must help to keep them moist. Oh, it's got the numbers on here too and all the color information. The pigment number, their light fastness rating, and uh, their paint number so that you and, and name so that you can buy new ones if you want. I've got Chinese white, I've got Quinacridone Magenta, Prussian Blue, Burnt Umber, Payne's Gray, yay. Permanent Lemon Yellow, Permanent Red Light, Ultramarine Deep, Sap Green, Yellow Ochre, Azo Yellow Medium, uh, Matter, Matter Lake Deep, which is a purpley color, I believe, Cerulean Blue, Viridian Green, and, gosh, I can't see this last one. Oh, Burnt Sienna, I believe that's burnt sienna but it's right over the dark color so I can't really see it and then you get this um, pop-up pen I think oh no it's just got the hole in this end so that it dries easy you pull it out this way Ooh, nice Anyway, this is a size 6 which is actually a pretty nice size brush and the mixing trays are the you have six mixing areas like this in this tray that's what it looks like. Ratings. These all have three plus light fast ratings, which in the European and Russian um, light fast rating setup is very light fast, excellent light fastness. Um, one is bad, three is good, where in the US one is good, three is bad. So it's the opposite. But it's a um, fairly thick palette. Um, as far as that goes, I mean, it's not bad. It's less than an inch, I believe. It's three quarters of an inch thick. It's not that thick. And it's not too heavy at all. So it'd be easy to carry around. It's about the size of a wallet, I guess. But you've got a lot of depth in these mixing trays, too. So, and I don't think they pull out. No, not that I can see. It's molded right in there, I think. Oh, I bet I could lift it out with a little... Thing there. Okay. Um, I did this chart real quick and I've decided since this is sticky on the back I'm just going to put this sticky paper right over my watercolor paper and hope that it all sticks on here very well. I can always tape it down or laminate it but I just wanted to um, stick it on and now that way I've got my chart all done. That worked out really well. Here. And then I've also got this um, Rembrandt uh, Oxide Brown, which I'm also going to do a little swatch of here so we can see what it looks like. It's a nice dark, deep brown. It's almost like a sepia color, only a little bit lighter. It's a little on the paler side. Sepias. Yeah, maybe sepia is not the right color because this is more of a yellow brown. But that's the other one. So, And the thing that we're going to be painting today is a beautiful um, landscape. And I'm really excited. I'm just, She's drawing it right now and teaching, teaching us how to draw it. I don't know if you can hear her talking in the background, but everything is in Russian on the videos. Um, but you can follow along by listening. 
Okay, so I have my sketch kind of sketched on here just loosely, and I just did it in pencil, the one they gave me. So now I'm going to go ahead and start my painting, but I'm going to do this in fast motion because um, I think otherwise it might take too long to get the whole video in. So I'm going to speed this up. What a wonderful
Okay, so I think I'm done. I, uh, I find it very difficult to do these videos and the reason is because I do things my own way and then trying to do something their way. Granted, I do learn some things by watching it, but um, I need to like stop and then go back to the photo and just look at it and not look back at what they're doing because I can't see the photo and watch at the same time. I don't have a working printer right now, so I couldn't do that. And um, But anyway, this is my final painting. And, you know, for a first try, I guess it's not too bad. But I um, definitely had some trouble with a few spots, like the brick. She was, she was going so fast, I, I was like pausing and then trying to keep up, and then the video locks up, so then you got to go back. Vimeo does that all the time, and these videos, I think, go through Vimeo, but, but anyway, um, this is it, and this was the photo. I will quickly show you. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to or not. But I'm just going to quickly show you what I was working with here. That was the photo that I was working with. And um, so that's what I, but that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Everybody have a great day. Remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon. And most of all, be kind to each other. God bless you. Bye-bye.